The best soft tip point for a steel tip dartboard? What? That doesn't even make sense, does it? Well, let me explain in the next clip and um, hopefully it makes sense. So here we go, guys. What's up guys, Worldwide here. So, you know, at this point of the video, I usually say, hey, this is gonna be a good video, a decent video, or a great video. Well, not the case today. I mean, I really don't think this is gonna be a great video at all. However, this is kind of like a filler video because I have, I don't know, five or $600 worth of stuff coming from Japan. I got a couple packages coming from the UK, and I have a huge, huge package coming from Holland, although it's not Dart Shopper. It's another surprise for you guys a little bit down the line so yeah huge package coming from holland and i think there's going to be some giveaway darts in that package so stay tuned for that so in today's video you're probably scratching your head already thinking oh, what the heck why are we throwing soft tip darts at a steel tip dartboard well believe it or not here in the united states a lot of players play both soft tip darts and steel tip darts i did myself back in the day i'd have a steel tip league on tuesday night and then thursday night i'd go to a soft tip dart league so prior to that Thursday night soft tip league, I'm at home practicing on a steel tip dartboard. Now here's a problem with most soft tip points. They don't really hold into a steel tip board all that well. So that's where these points come into play. I just discovered them recently. I've always used L style lip points. Well, these are the premium lip points and they happen to have these little nubs. I'll show a close up here in just a second, but they got these nubs on the point and they work incredibly well holding into a steel tip dartboard. Matter of fact, I've been using these all afternoon and I have not lost a single dart on the ground. So, uh, and you guys know, this is a light set of darts combined with a super firm target dartboard. So for me not to lose any darts at all, it's quite an amazing feat. Oh, and I wanted to spell one myth really quick here as well. A lot of people think if you throw soft tip darts at a steel tip dartboard, it's gonna somehow ruin the board. The complete opposite is true. I actually tested this out back in 2015. I had a brand new blade, I think it was a Blade 5. And for the first three months of that board, I threw soft tip darts at the Blade 5. And at the end of that three months, the spider was in perfect condition because these plastic points don't harm the spider. Then the rest of the board was perfect as well. So after three months of use, my brand new Blade 5 was absolutely 100% perfect, not even one single scratch on the spider so yeah don't let anybody tell you that soft tip darts will ruin a steel tip dartboard because that's not true at all so anyway i guess uh, we'll take a quick close-up look at these things and then after that maybe i'll throw like a game of cricket and uh, we'll see if i lose any darts on the floor or not but um yeah if you want to practice soft tip darts on a steel tip board i think this is the way to go so yeah let's uh, grab the other camera we'll take a close-up look at these things and uh yeah that's it for the video Okay, check that out, guys. I hope you can see them things, but there's some tiny nubs along the points. And that is what bites into the sizal on the steel tip dartboard. As a matter of fact, I'll put up a different picture on the screen right now, and you can get another look at these little nubs on the points. But yeah, they bite into the dartboard incredibly well. You know, to be honest with you, I don't know how they work on a soft tip dartboard, but um, nonetheless, they work great for a steel tip dartboard. And in case you're wondering, these are the darts I'll be using today. These are an old, old Bob Anderson dart, Bob Anderson unicorn dart. I believe I got these at Darts Corner years ago, probably like, I don't know, eight years ago. And I think I paid probably around $13 for these things, 90% tungsten. And when we go into the next clip where I'm throwing these darts, and again, keep in mind, I'm throwing them on an incredibly firm target dartboard. These darts, the total dart weight is i don't think that's right the total dart weight is yeah a little over 16 grams so keep that in mind and watch how well they hold in the board so uh, that's the point in case you're wondering what one of these points weigh probably a little less than a gram oh yeah point point three zero so uh yeah super lightweight and uh, these are the only soft tip points 
I will use, actually when I used to play soft tip darts, I would use the regular L-style lip points. So um, there we go. Let's get these things on the board, see how they hold. Here we go. Whew. So I just had a quick, quick warm up. We're still having a heat wave out there. I'm already sweating. I got the door shut, the air conditioners out there. So um, yeah, here we go. So here's my thinking. As you see, where are we at? Here's my thinking here. We're going to do one leg of Cricket against a Dark Connect level 10 bot. With Cricket, it gives me... Hey, my lights are flickering. With Cricket, it gives me a chance to throw in different areas, different segments of the dartboard. And you know how some dartboards have either hard or soft areas? Well, what better way to test these points out, to thoroughly test these points out, by throwing at all different areas of the dartboard, including the bullseye, which is usually typically the firmest. So, um, yeah, here we go. We'll see how these points work. We'll do a random start. I never seem to get the start either. Huh, of course not. Yeah, so the bot's coming out strong here. Five mark on the 20s. <laughs> Unreal. I'll show you that second dart here in just a second. You remember, we're playing cricket. It's a triple. Doesn't get too much better than that, does it? All right, so you know, with these points, pulling them out of the dartboard, I would say they're pretty equivalent to a black point. You know how black points hold in the board a little better than silver points? Well, these. I would say about equivalent of a black point. Maybe they hold in the board a little bit better. Ah, there goes the perfect game. Ah, hey, three single 18s. We'll keep it moving. Once you get points involved, man, it can really drag on, can it? Wow, yeah. Okay, so, down on points. What am I down with? 51? That helps. Oh, now that last dart's called a hero dart. I tried to go for the close, but since I missed, now had I hit, it would have been a great idea. Since I missed, bad idea. Not too much damage. How many 17s do I need? Two? Ooh, I thought I pulled that last one. So again, that 19 is... I'm gonna have to start paying rent on triple 19, right? <clears throat> ah. Three singles. Hey, closed it off. <clears throat> Excuse me here. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? All right, so I got a one point lead. <clears throat> ah. I'm going to go for it here. Is that not in? All right. Safety dart here. Whew. Okay. One, two, three. Now it becomes a bullseye race. So it's not too bad going into the bullseyes. I've got a 4.7 mark per round. Single. Big miss. Oh, what have we got there? <laughs> Another single. Hey, I like how they stuck in though. One, two. Yeah, so the darts clattered against one another and hey, they're sticking in just fine. Well, now we've got a little bit of an issue. But I do have one, two, three numbers open. We'll see how this goes. Oh, 
Oh, that was an important... Whew, that third dart was important. Did I get a sloppy 16? So yeah, 19, 16, bullseye. And you know, that's a thing with cricket that I dislike. I missed on that second dart. I was going at the bullseye. I hit a 16. By me playing poorly and missing, I still got credit for the 16, which, yeah, I don't think you should get credit for playing poor. But hey, that's just how the game is set up. So I need some 18s. Ooh, and that is the ball game. So I didn't lose any darts, right? They all stuck. So triple, single, enter. Winning dart number two. And let me bring this down. Come on. Window capture, drag it down. There we go. Blow it up and match. Save match. All right, so hey, 4.3 with lightweight soft tip darts on a steel tip dartboard. Not going to complain about that at all. So they do seem to be working. The only downside, if I was to nitpick, is that obviously these are plastic points. When you throw them on a steel tip dartboard, these nubs are going to wear off, but they're holding up well so far, but they will wear down. I think they'll wear down probably, probably rather quick. But again, you get, I think you get like 30 to a pack. So, I mean, they're going to last you. Fire truck. Yeah, 30 to a pack. I think they're about four, four or $5 over at Darts Corner. I'll have a link down in the pinned comment. You can check them out there. But, um. That's it for the video for today, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't really, I don't know. It was just something different. But again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have a ton of stuff coming. I have a huge, huge, huge package coming from Holland. I don't know when that's going to get here, but it's going to be upwards of 10, 15 sets of darts, something like that. So a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. Make sure you're subscribed because I think I'm going to have a giveaway coming pretty soon. Whenever that package from Holland shows up, some stuff coming from Japan, two or three packages coming from the UK. So uh, yeah, three, three packages coming from the UK. So a bunch of great videos coming soon. Hope you enjoyed this one, something different. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later. Oh, that thing's in the way. <laughs> Later. <laughs>